Hey everybody, it's Debbie here, and I just wanted to talk about setting up your own block schedule. So I've created a block schedule here. I've just done it through Excel, and in my course I make this template available. Uh, what I suggest is if you're using this as a template, just click down here, the little plus sign, and you'll have a new sheet to work on. So you could just copy all of this, put it on the new sheet, so at least you've got a, a clean place to start. But a block schedule basically is looking at what you do in a day and block out chunks of time. You're actually more productive when you're working in blocks versus jumping from one thing to another. As I started mapping this out, initially I actually had probably double the amount of categories. You don't want to make it too complicated, so I just um, kind of doubled up on some of these things. And you just select the time of day that you'd like to start through the end of the day. So you'll notice that my mornings pretty much Monday through Friday are pretty consistent. I get up, I get ready, I've got some spiritual time, uh, meditation, study time, so I do all of that. And then by 7 o'clock, that's my goal, from 7 to 8.30, I'm doing what I call social media, email. So basically those kinds of things that I do every day that I want to be consistent with my marketing efforts and following up on my email for my uh, personal process, I have one dedicated chunk of time that I deal with my email. Um, I try to get in a little bit of exercising every day. And then from here on, I'm blocking out different types of work. So this deep blue, I call my clients or my deep work. So if I have client appointments, these are usually the times that I'm available. Or maybe this is my deep work. So I might be creating new course content during this uh, time block. Or I might be creating some of my blogs and posts, things like that. I'm currently teaching part-time at the university. So each semester my schedule changes, but I've blocked out what we see here in the green are those times that I'm actually teaching at the university. Another key point to uh, show you is on Friday, Friday is kind of my time, and I'm just calling it recharge time. So I try to pick out something fun to do, something that's restful just for me. Um, Saturdays and Sundays, typically I'm not working in my business. It's more family time, spiritual time. Um, I do some volunteer work also. So I block most of the mornings, both Saturday and Sunday for that. And then you'll notice the purple here, my family time uh, with my hubby is usually in the evenings every day, and then in the afternoons, of course, on Saturday and Sunday. Now your schedule is going to look completely different, of course, but I'm just trying to demonstrate to you, if you visually try to map out what your ideal work environment should be, and if you just color code it, uh, then it's just so much easier to get into the zone. When you look at it, you know, okay, I'm going to be doing my exercise first thing in the morning, for instance. Or for you, you might decide to do it in the evening. And when you create these blocks of time, it's just very easy. Um, so if you, um, I'll just hop over here to this sheet. So let's say this block of time, uh, you just come up here to the um, on the Home tab, and you just click whatever color it is you want to add there. I mean, it's just that easy to modify and create your own calendar. So I hope that helps, and I really encourage you to set this up. And again, I'm always telling people that I do offer a free automation audit call so that I can take a look at how you're running your business so that we can figure out some ways to automate it. So I hope to talk with you soon and have a great day.